This game literally hacked my computer. Oh, what the heck? What? Changed my desktop background. Oh my god, my desktop background has changed. And made me dig through my computer files for answers. Document dot one shot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is the third episode of One Shot, and the previous two episodes are in the description. So we're trying to find a button to the elevator, but there's also like this big vault. And there's like this transparent sheet of numbers that we have in our inventory. With many unanswered questions and having no idea where to start, I just kept wandering around in hope of finding more clues. But little did I know that I was closer to finding the answers than I thought. Whoa. A <gasps> pair of scissors on the ground on a pile of hair. I don't think anyone's using it. That's a W, we stealing. At least we got some scissors, that's a dub. Okay, so this is where we started. Let's just keep exploring this. Area. A pile of large books. They look like fun. Oh, it's a TV guy. Hey there, hello. You the Messiah, huh? Mm-hmm, yep, yeah, I am. I am the Messiah. I like your scarf. Oh, thank you. Mama made it for me. Tell her I like her needlework. Well, I like your scarf too, man. When I see her again, you gotta get Nico back to her parents, bro. It was like struggling. I mean, not struggling. Nico's doing a great job. You're in a completely different world and like <laughs> you have no idea what's going on. What is this? There's like a big pool of like red water, but also we've got this here. It's a fridge. It has magnets on it. Maybe they'll come in hand. Hope no one will mind me taking them. Oh yes. Okay. What do we get? Magnets. Okay. So now we're back out here. Let's go take a look at the other way to go. Oh. Oh, what's down here? Oh goodness. I feel like I'm entering into. Whoa. Oh, it's a save point. Okay. I'm a little tired from walking. It's all right if I take a nap. Of course you can take a nap, Nico. Oh, my game just crashed. <laughs> this game is crazy, bro. Oh, shoot, we have a dream. Wait, wait, wait. We have a dream like in the last episodes. Heck, dude, this is crazy. Okay, we have another dream. This is the third dream we've taken part of. Who is this? I feel like this is a new character. Oh, it is a new character. Oh, oh Nico likes them pancakes, bro. So whoever that was, I feel like that was Nico's parents. Auckland, I had another dream. Mom was there. I knew it. I knew it, bro. I knew it was mom. You see her? Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. You made me pancakes, dude. I love pancakes. I think it was my birthday. Well, happy birthday whenever that was. Because people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. You have a birthday too? I do have a birthday. Yep. Oh, then what's your favorite food? The pancakes. I do love pancakes. Honestly, that might be my favorite food. Wait, do you like pancakes? Yes, absolutely. Who doesn't like, bro? On my last birthday, I ate 10 of them. Okay, that might be a little too much. Dude, I think I would throw up before I have 10. I was so full, I didn't e eat anything else that day. <laughs> no, I can I can understand. My mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And oh, one of our neighbors makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? I do have neighbors. They don't really share. No, they don't share any food. No, unfortunately. That's not very nice of them. I miss everyone. Nico, it's okay. We'll get you home. Don't worry about it. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? Yes, you've been you've been gone for a very long time. Ah, speaking of now, oh, you're probably going. Okay. So that was kind of concerning because those are all of the areas that we've been to. Okay, let's see what we have to do. So that area looks like it's completely cleared out. I think all we have to do now is look at that vault area. You gotta give me another hint, because I'm lost. So clueless. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not as smart as figures. Need another hint tip? There is a void beyond the four walls that find our world. Edge of your viewport where everything is obscure. What? <laughs> I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. I don't. Pass the film through the void and back again. So something, we have to do something on my desk. Oh yeah, here it is. Here's the numbers. So somehow we need to like uh, pass it through the void back again. What does that mean, bro? Do I have to minimize the screen? <gasps> that would be insane if I had to minimize the screen. Minimizing the screen. Three, two, one. I minimized it. Didn't do anything. If I need to close it. Gosh, I'm going to close the game. I'm closing it. I'm closing the game. Oh. Oh, what the heck? What? I have to pass it through the void? Oh... Oh my god! What the frick? What the frick? This is so awesome, bro. Okay, so it's 36014. We combine this and maybe we can make a button out of this. Like arts and crafts. Hmm, I don't think it's supposed to be. <laughs> How are we gonna connect it to the elevator? Well, let's go, dude! What the heck? How was I just gonna button out of that? Okay. Button question mark? 
let's okay so i mean we got the button just i mean i feel like that's the goal it's like that that would be the goal you know what i mean so let's go and put this in here button fits snugly into the slot but i'm not sure how to connect it hmm all i know is that the button works by some kind of magnetic technology don't ask me how magnets work. I didn't even finish high school. Well, that's a good thing. That's that's a great thing because it looks like we have a few magnets. <laughs> magnets don't stick to aluminum, but oh, what if I fold the magnets onto this edge? It's holding together just barely. That's good enough. Magnetize question mark button. So we're still missing one more thing. All right, let's hope this works. The button fits snugly and I think you can hear the machine powering on. The button completely fell apart. <gasps> oh, well. Okay, you know what I need to do? I, I have a genius idea. It's called tape. It's called tape, ladies and gentlemen. You tried? Oh, that, that's actually really funny. I did try, but now we're gonna tape it all together uh, by doing tape dispenser. I could hold it together with tape. I should have done this in the first place. Okay, let's see what taped button. Do I need to like staple it together? Or should I staple it together too? I'm gonna go back and we're gonna go ahead and figure this out. Taped button. Here we go. Hope this works. Oh, <gasps> it works. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh no 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 no! Nico, move back! Oh gosh! Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. That's what the security code is for! Let's go! Okay, we just kind of did things out of order. We should have uh, made the button first. What? That's never happened before! The squares! Huh? You saw them, right? They were on the door and... Oh nah, the square stuff happens all the time. <laughs> They're just used to the square stuff. I, apparently, the square stuff is, like, really dangerous and, like, you should not be playing with it or messing with it at all. I mean, the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm. I guess I should go looking for the code then, Rockman. Well, Nico, I would like to tell you that uh, I already have the code. Please input security code to continue. It's like, what was it? Six? Six? Zero? One? Four. All right. Oh my gosh, we're literally about to get into the elevator. Here we go. Let's go. Oh! What? It works! I don't know what you did, but it actually works. Good job, kid. You're a genius, you know that? Well, I had help from Rockland. Aww. <laughs> Alright. Whole Messiah business. Anyway, ready to go? Oh, well. Like, uh, this is great. Alright, here we go. Wait. Please plant the seed. I don't think I'll be able to do that, but I'll, I'll go I'll go check it out. All right, hello, Mr. Plant Dude. Oh, wait, there's a pot of plant right there that's missing. Here we go. Empty flower pot. Okay, it doesn't look like... Okay, here we go. Gosh, nervous. Oh, hey, welcome back. Uh, that sure took you a while, huh? Oh, shoot, you've been waiting this whole time and holding the door open. <laughs> I guess I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have told you that I was going to go on ahead. Uh, don't worry about it. What, they actually have dialogue for that? That's crazy. Did I miss something? If I'm- I might have missed something then. Oh, this is so chill. <laughs> Elevator music? No way. <laughs> oh, this is- Sure is taking a while. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah and also literally God himself. This is awkward. Well, maybe we, uh, we can chat to pass. You heard me? I mean, sure. <laughs> All right, Rockland, should I ask him about his job? Ask about the city? Ask, uh, ask about the library? <laughs> Resume awkward silence. <laughs> so, um, what do you do with your job? You seem really busy. I, uh, I fix lights most. Uh, but now I also deliver and refill high energy phosphor to structures that need high energy. You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in the factories. Uh, it's what powers most of this city's stuff. Cool, dude, you're kind of an important guy. I used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that, but lately a bunch of them have been breaking them. So until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my- I haven't slept in so long. <laughs> It's okay. You got. You're on the grind, bro. It's for the greater good. When will the robots get fit? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over at the L labs. About his job, so I'm gonna ask about this. The city is very big. It's smaller than it looks. It's getting pretty crowded too. First there was refugee refugee from the barons, and now more info. Oh, it's just safer here, you know. I mean, it's not a haven by any that square stuff that we just saw. We get more of that here than anywhere else. Oh, dang, really? Then why is it called the refuge then, my dude? I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's impact. All right, should I ask about the library? 
Tell me about the library. I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, that's one of my main delivery spots. Oh shoot, those reading lights are pretty high maintenance. <laughs> I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, but you'll fit in fine. Alright, anyway, it was nice to meet you. Nico. Right, you're on, kid. Gotta run now. Oh, wow, he... He, like, sprinted away. <laughs> yeah, he does seem in a hurry. I guess we should hurry, too, bro. People are counting on it. Let's go find that library. Okay, so we need to find a library. We need to find the library. Oh, this is, like, a back alley. Whoa! What the heck? What the heck was that? Rockley, did you see what happened? Yes! My vision went blank for a second. Then I saw something. Like a really short dream. Oh, the music changed! Oh no. Oh no, I don't want to die. Because again, like this game, right? It actually has massive stakes. Where we have only one shot to get this. And I'm pretty sure if you don't get it right in the first time, then you won't be able to complete Faded fly. Go down here. Oh, what the heck? It's strangely warm in this Oh, Oh, it's all these cats! Oh my gosh! Ooh, a cat. Are you lost? Me? You wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat! I don't walk on four legs like they do. I have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. We're still welcome. I protect lost people. Got rock on to guide me. Let's see. Oh, dude, look at this cat over here, though. Oh, dude, he's so cute. Aww. Oh my gosh, all these cats are so. We've been here for a while. Are you sure you don't want to wish to stay? I'm good. Thanks for offering. So we have got some work to do. Go over here. I bet you there's a person living. Whoa, whoa is that another Clover Journal? It's a big book. The title says Understanding Robots. Oh, we can't pick it up. But it looks like we can pick. Last shard or something. There's some big plastic discs in it. Like they're supposed to go with something? Wait, Rockland, were you really gonna take this with us? They look so heavy. All right. Hey, they're actually pretty light. Concave lens, thin lens, convex lens, thick lens. Oh, we're gonna have to do some kind of puzzle. A lantern plant. There's a note attached. It says, thank you for working so hard, Mr. Lamplight. Oh. All right, let's go, um, let's check the right side. Oh. <gasps> Hello? Whoa! Rockland, you see that fox just now? I did. Oh, this is the fox I saw in the hallucination at the beginning of the alleyway. I'm sorry if you are looking for me, but I cannot talk to you. Not now. Hmm. But can you promise me something? Huh? If you can find a way to return... What do you mean by that? No reply? Okay, that's kind of creepy. I feel like it's a ominous threat. You can return. We're back in the city. Did. Want some dumplings? They are guaranteed to contain only minimal amounts of industrial byproducts. Help that. Okay. Kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. Oh, I, I, I see. That's interesting. Yeah, you have a toaster for a head. You're toasting bread. Uh, are you here for your photos? Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, stand here. This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep. Still getting a hang of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad. Uh, it's okay. Hey, hey! Ready for me to blow your mind? Yes. Do it. I've invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills in water, and then you drink the water. And then you'll never need to drink water again. What? Also, it makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Here, why don't you take some free samples? Okay? Don't thank me. Go spread the word. It was in water, supposedly. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just kind of like going with the flow of things. This map is absolutely I feel like this is like a cutscene moment, bro. No, I'm getting those cutscene vibes. This. What? This. What the heck? I don't like the X. I don't like the X. Can I go back? Um, okay. Well, that's... That's quite peculiar. Looks like I can unlock. Hey, yeah, we're back out. Uh, let's, uh, let's go down over here. Like a boardwalk. 
Oh, this is the library. What? What? I, I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I'm just looking at your book. Yes, you are in the library. There's books in the library. Go bug the chatty one upstairs. Author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there is no subject he does not write about. Like the Renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. He's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh, they say the city is the last bastion of civilization. Doing these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Hello, do you need direction? This area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and uh... I'm not sure where the children's section is. Sorry. Oh, dude, that is a burn. Goodness, what what do they do to you, bro? <laughs> the title says, Emergence of New Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Whoa, okay. Phosphor shrimp, also known as a seed shrimp in certain vernacular due to the shape of their transparent coat. These aquatic invertebrates are the most abundant life form in the ocean surrounded by the barren. Abdominal phosphor organ, dorsal phosphor glands. Dude, people spent so much time doing this. This game is incredible. Common firefly, a nocturnal beetle with a vibrant glow, sometimes captured in mass and put in jars to be used as living lamps by the Glen's residents. This has inspired the now common practice of using the phosphor shrimps to do the same. Got this book as well, a book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphors. Oh my gosh, bro, I'm like back in school. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed phosphor to the sun. Really dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure. So the boosted phosphor will never return to phosphor. Return. Dude, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna come back to this uh, later. So we have those books in there that tell us a lot about like various things but i feel like we need to find things first before we know why those books are important excuse me oh you are the messiah welcome when i first entered the city a big robot told me to look for the library on the surface is this the same library right affirmative oh goody well we're here what do we do now the big robot only said there'd be clues here that is a question for the head librarian george allow me to call her George? I feel like this robot's gonna get ghosted, bro. Yeah, this is a this is an uncomfortable moment here. Uh, oh gosh. She is not picking up. Uh, is she not here? She is here. She is uh, in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes. Can you go get her in person then? Leaving those poses is not in my programming. And can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. That's the next step then. That's the next step. What? Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. <laughs> it looks like we have, an, uh, have a loop here. Allow me to call her. <laughs> no, don't call her, bro. <laughs> Do not call George, bro. Oh my god. Dude, <laughs> Nico, I'm with you, bro. Like, like, dude, this is this is letting you through without a library card is against my programming. Well, I have not been tamed. Oh, what does that even mean? We still don't know what that means, by the way. We still don't know what taming means. I feel like taming is like when a robot becomes a little more sentient. Uh, do you have a library card by chance? I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs, <laughs> but I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Hmm. Curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. <laughs> okay, I need a library card. I bet you I'm not gonna find the library card in the library. So I need to go, you know, talk to somebody that'll give me a library card or like manufacture my own somehow. Yo, what's up? You looking for something? Yeah, I need to find the library card now. Any idea where I can get one? From the library? <laughs> I tried that already. The person in charge wasn't there. Oh, uh, maybe check out the factory. You just take the stairs at the end of this street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists read books, right? They might help you. Thank you, dude. You're always a lifesaver, man. Okay, let's keep going. Let's, uh, what? Did I explore this way? I don't think I did, actually. I don't think I've explored this way yet. I haven't explored this way yet. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh, this is the factory. Oh, now we have different music too. Oh, oh yeah, here's the factory. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's see what's over here. Hello, is there any scientist? Oh, wow, what the heck? It's a big metal box with lots of machinery inside. It has a robot in it. We have a paper. It may help you to go one color at a time, management. 
uh, that doesn't make much sense. What about over here? It can also help to write down previous attempts management. If uh, all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. What? Let's go this way. <gasps> a scientist! The luminance index of the liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57% this past week. Alarming to say the least. That's the sharpest decline I've seen, and the number is only increasing. We'll have to further concentrate the phosphor for now, for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance this city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? If the city runs out of light, well, I don't want to think about what happens then. So that scientist does not help me at all. Let's go over here. Locked. Are you serious? In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. Uh-huh. You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Oh, okay. Let's go look at the tips. Those were the tips on the floor in the ground. Let's go take a look. It may help to go one color at a time. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Also, it helps if you write down previous attempts. Blue. I'm gonna change this one to green. We're gonna change this one to like, oh, there's only four combinations it could possibly be. Let's do pink and then pink as well. Let's go for it. Zero lights. Oh gosh. Nine tries? Okay, we need to write stuff down. So this is green. Let's go with magenta and we'll see if that is correct. Zero lights are correct. Eight tries left. What? Maybe we shouldn't do this, but... How are zero lights correct? I'm actually garbage. So this is blue. And so all of these are not yellow. Actually, we'll change all of these into blue now. Two lights are correct. So I know that the first light is correct blue and then we have a bunch of other ones that are not correct now let's just change one at a time let's change that one to green three lights are correct okay perfect so that one's green so it's blue green one of these has to be green and we get it right so it has to be like this one or the other one three lights are correct okay so this means that this would be green and this would be five lights are correct oh wait we did we did it access granted let's go baby i'm a genius first try yay we got access oh my gosh okay Oh my gosh, this person is like panicking, bro. My robot, what happened? I don't know, I left for a minute and... <laughs> I love the voice, man, what is that voice? <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> I don't know, you gotta figure it out, man, you're a scientist. Okay, dude, this is a big area, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. What, bro, this guy has a can for a head? Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his work. None of us have been sleeping very well in the light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and she fell asleep. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Listen, I need a I need a library card, bro. Somebody has to give me a library card. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Dude, I gotta go talk to Dr. Silverpoint. A-S-A-P, son. Yo, what's up? The robot manufacturing area? These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. Yikes. Oh, this guy has like a toaster for a head. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. <laughs> now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is, is a TV. What does that have anything to do with it? Never mind. So I'm guessing, uh, again, the area that we need to be is like straightforward, but I still want to talk to all these people. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. Okay, okay. Looks like you guys are doing important science biz. Uh, those square particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. You might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Let's see what is happening. <gasps> Hello? Oh my gosh. Oh shoot. If I had known you'd be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn lock. Hello there. Aw, sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay, I passed it with flying colors because <laughs> it's a color combination lock. <laughs> okay, I'll stop talking. Rockland helped me solve it. I know. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yes. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? You'll have to ask a library for that. I tried. I needed to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the only one who gives out library cards. Really? Ah, uh, that sounds like George, all right. I'm sorry, you caught her on a bad day. Wait, I know. I can just give you my own library card. Let's go. Thank you so much. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait, shoot. 
I forgot, the front desk library bots have facial recognition, and my photo on the card won't match you, unless I tape a photo of my face onto your face. Um, that was a joke. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Oh, that's why I need the lenses. What is this little thing in the, in the bookshelf? Something is poking out from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have it if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. Can I, like, talk to you again? I feel like you're really important. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. You get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind. It's actually really pretty. Ah, I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, go find a camera. I have to find a camera somewhere. And so she gave me her library car bus. Oh, hey, Rockland. Doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Could I? Uh, of course you should. <laughs> okay, what's... Um... Oh, oh! It, is it the sister or something? Or like the... That's... Oh, th that's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. Uh, uh oh. Got some past issues, some past beef. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself, so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bounded by its own code. Oh. But turns out, you can't really build something like that. Oh, really? Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Oh, dang, bro. Scary as day of my life, tell you what? Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. She's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted but the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then, we all did. I'm sure she realized that, and now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that Amber, okay? I will. Dang, bro. Okay, so there, so she created the engineer in the Barrens. I we are going to use the library card, hopefully. I guarantee you it's not gonna work, but we're gonna try it. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Unauthorized entry library card required. I, I did. Oh, I have to like go up to him and talk to him, I guess. <sighs> Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Oh no. Photo match failed. It seems you do not resemble the owner of the card. You cannot use this card. Bummer. I need to find a like a camera to take a photo. Uh, let's see what we have in our inventory. I guess we can just try like combining stuff. The card is covered in glue and glitter. Wait, what? It's a sticky library card? Oh, oh, wait, I just blur the image rather than taking a photo. Okay, so by combining the glitter with the card, we can obscure the photo and we can trick the robot into thinking that we are actually the person on the card. All right, let's go. Invalid card, photo is missing. Why did I do that? <laughs> we still need to take the photo, but we stick the photo to the card. Okay, so we just need the photo now. I'm trying to- I'm trying to figure out where I can find the photo. Maybe one of these vendors has an idea. Not the coffee cup guy, the toaster guy, and the water bottle guy. Ooh! Oh, a photo taken! <gasps> Are you here for your photos? Actually, yeah! I need to take a picture for reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is that the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work right. Huh. You're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All of the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Rockland and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs. I mean, for sure, like you. <laughs> okay. Oh, you could, that's a doorway? Oh, it is a doorway? Actually an idiot. I didn't even realize that that was a doorway. Oops. Oh, this machine, dude. Oh, it didn't do anything. There's a slot here. It looks like paper or something might want to come out of it. Okay, so that's like the paper. And then so these are the empty rectangular slots. That means we need to put the lenses in this big machine. See, that's what I was thinking. We have like a big machine we put the lenses in, but we don't know what order to put the lenses in. Uh, let's so, let's just go and put you here. Let's just go and put this guy over here, here, and then the skinny lens. on. Okay. Oh, 
I guess that wasn't the right combination, Rockland. Oh, that's cool how you can... Let's have this one here, and then... Uh... This is going to be a little little time consuming. Can we get lucky on the second attempt? I guess that wasn't the right combination. Okay, so we need to find the combination. Maybe there's like another doorway that I just wouldn't go into. That was... And I bet you there's like an open room over here, maybe. Yep, here it is. Let's go. I knew it. What? What are you doing, bro? Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh. I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out the major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Dude, do I got the product for you. It's called Water Pill. Here we go. I'm about to blow your mind, bro. Nope, not looking forward to that water shortage. Wait, what? Wait, can I like... It's a big fish tank. Can I not give this to... Oh, you know what I should do? I should combine the tube of water and the water pill. So put the pill in the water? It dissolves really fast. Let's go! What is? What do we get? Medicated water. Okay, let's uh, go give this to him. See what happens. Nope, not looking forward to that water shortage. Dude, I have the thing that you need that would solve all your problems. Clearly this isn't working. Let's go back to that guy on the vendor street, uh, the water guy, and let's talk to him about this like water thing. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? Hmm, it's been a while. I'm pretty sure that the bowl- Dude! What? What? I just talked to the water guy and he tells me like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Like, how does the water guy know what order the lens needs to go in? I'm pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. The bulgy lens. Okay, you know what? That actually didn't help me at all. Let's go over here then. Anything that you remember about the camera working? Let me see. When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Okay, okay, I can do that. Can you tell me about uh, how to get the camera working? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both curved lenses. Okay, and basically just talking to like all of them just gives you the solution. Okay, so it's the thick lens, the curved lens, the thin lens, and then the next curved lens, but I don't know which curved lens goes first. That's the question. At this point, like, I can just brute force it. Thick lens, there you go, is either the convex or the concave. Then to do the thin lens, convex lens. All right, let's see if this works. It didn't work. Okay, so basically that means that we just need to swap the convex and concave lens. Okay, this should work, hopefully. Oh, <gasps> it works! Let's go! Let's go, we got it. Okay. Say cheese. Ah, uh, cheese. <laughs> Ouch, my eyes. Oh, this is going to be so dope. I'm so excited to see this photo. It's a photo of me. My eyes are always this big. <laughs> photo of Nico, not a cat. <laughs> Card has my face on it now. Dude. We freaking solved that. I, I love that, dude. The camera and everything, like making the camera is so awesome, dude. So now all we have to do is go to the library and uh, talk to this George guy. Authenticating barcode, executing facial recognition, photo match, successful. You're good to go. Let's go, bro. Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. Dude, let's go. Let's go. Finally, we're talking to George. Get some, uh, get some answers. Uh, hi? Hi. Are you all right? Um, oh man. Can I help you? Yeah. I was wondering if you can tell me about what I should do next. I think I was supposed to go to the tower. The tower. A grim obelisk. A solemn reminder of our fate. We're all gonna die. Um, so how do I get in? I don't know. I've been reading and studying all my life, and yet I haven't found any books on entering the tower. All I know is that there's a small room you can go in, but everybody knows that. I see. Well, do I have the book for you? Do I have that book for you? It is called The Strange Journal. Can you talk to me about this absolutely strange journal? Please, excuse me. I do have this book. I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, oh dear. Hmm. Oh uh, yeah, is it all right if I borrow this? There's no mistake, I have to translate this. Oh yeah, no problem. I'll try my best, but it probably won't be very fast. It's okay. Yawn. Excuse me. Oh dear, are you tired? A little. Ah, well. I do have a guest room upstairs, uh, but it's in the attic though. Sorry if it's not very comfortable. I think the attics are like the coolest parts. So there is a room upstairs. Oh, yep, here it is. He's trying to take a nap. So of course you can take a nap, Nico. And the game 
Oh, there it goes. It crashed. Okay. We are closer to the ending now more than ever. And all we have to do is see what's in that strange journal that'll hopefully lead us to the top of the tower. But that is for the next episode.